My dad, I would say, he's someone, let me start by saying that um, farmers are creatures of habit. This is what I've always done. My grandfather farmed, my great-grandfather farmed, of course my dad did. I have two sons, Jared who is 28 and Taylor who is 23, I'm much more tech savvy than I am. Computers, the internet, we've, we've grown up with that and it comes second nature to us. Training my dad with a computer, it's been hilarious at times. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm illiterate on it. It's really no different than me with my father or grandfather. Uh, there were things that, that I adapted to that would be kind of dinosaurs to my kids now. Now the technology is bridging a gap between me and an older generation. I think my dad is special in the fact that he has the foresight to know that that was the direction that it was going. And the sooner you go with it rather than against it, the smoother things are gonna operate. Now what tractor are we, what tractor is this on, do you know? Mm, 8320R. I farm in Sykes to Missouri area. I primarily raise cotton. I have corn and soybeans also. Data accuracy is where um, the future is for farming. I think to have the data available would be very valuable because a lot of times we make off-the-cuff decisions. With these new technologies, it's going to allow them to get better data, get more accurate data into their system to make those management decisions. You have to be properly informed to be able to make a good educated decision. And that's where J.D. Link can kind of help in running that business for you. JD Link data will tell you, was it the right variety? Where it was I at the right planting speed? Did we put down the right nitrogen applications at the right time? Yield will tell you every, all of that. That becomes the information and the data that we can use to make decisions on. It would be important, I think, to any profitable operation. There are so many things coming in, in the technology world. It's going to be at the forefront of farming. Things change and, you know, nothing stays the same. Mr. Scott knows that you need to adopt the technologies. You need to embrace the technologies. I know going forward that that's the direction it's going. To stay in a good farming operation, a good business, you've got to roll with the times. I'm really excited to use the new technology. We're poised to make that leap going into next year. I think that's gonna open up many doors for their operation. This is something that can give us a glimpse of what our farm could be in the future and what it could turn into.